Born in the first light of the morning, Mustara uh, Marabo. It's also my favorite part of the day, uh, just before the sun rises and um, the separation between nighttime and, um, and the next morning. So that in between space, that transitory space, almost like a waiting room, but it's also so brief, so short, where the magic happens. Musara um, Marapo is, uh, is a Sibedi word, uh, phrase, uh, meaning uh, MC, masters, uh, master of ceremonies, but it's also literally um, the holder of bones, um, bones being the, um, the mineral that holds uh, the memory, um, the memory of, uh, of the body, of the self, also then uh, referring to the other bones that are on the show, the rocks, which are the bones of the world, the mountain, the relation with the mountain, the mountain having uh, one of the oldest memories in the world. So also referring to that, so bringing both uh, light and, um, and rock um, into the title. So the work, uh, the struggle of memory against forgetting, perhaps a meditation on uh, resisting amnesia, amnesia of, uh, of what had happened. Sometimes uh, remembering can be a traumatic event, remembering uh, something painful. When one forgets what other part of the self is also neglected. So when remembering, um, remembering with another part the part of, uh, of remembering one's sovereignty, even in a context that is uh, seemingly not favorable, but being reminded of one's own strength and the possibility of one's strength as well. Uh, remembering people whose voices were, were rendered uh, obsolete, seemingly obsolete, obsolete in the history books, but immaterially present through times, through actions, through the things that happen in our bodies. How to metabolize uh, that history or that presence or that memory. How to metabolize those, uh, those who did struggle, those who did say no, and the, the generations of those who said no. And the soil, uh, the dust, lerole uh, means dust uh, in Sibedi, an act of dust, a dust that, uh, that's in action. So in the process of transition, becoming something else, shifting from here to there. Yeah, so with these uh, bricks as well, the acts like transitory monuments that shape, that take shape, and then they transform their shape again into another shape again. As with the stories as well, depending on who's telling the story and how it's heard, that also changes uh, the story. It's interesting, during my first visit to Milan, we went to the, the Duomo in the center of the city. Um, and I was fascinated by the element 
that's on its outside the um, the marble and where it was uh, from so immediately i was drawn into the mountain and the um, uh, the memory of mountains so we went to the karara area and um, looked at uh, the marble of the quarry and uh, while there, there was uh, a question of what uh, what the mountain's experience was of all these actions upon it and within it. And it's also, also its relationship to other mountains in the world as well. So we took a journey to do some recordings of the mountain. Um, and we recorded writing on the mountain, uh, writing uh, various, uh, various shapes, shapes that, uh, that occur in various cultures uh, globally um, uh, from the beginnings of time. So those sounds are what one hears registered by the sound recorder from the side of the mountain and then also from the side of the rock that's writing. The show, there's also um, all the work comprised of uh, not only the physical materials, soil, clay, hay, but there's also the smell of the soil, the smell of the herbs that are used as well, which uh, occupy a particular space or size of space um, sensorially in the body, experientially as well as one moves through the space together with all the other sensations. So the hearing part and the smelling part, sharing um, in the journey of where the work uh, takes one and the bleeding of those uh, elements into each other, yeah. Connecting with the water, being at the water, and receiving messages of the past, of the present as well. Being uh, at the ocean and being reminded of uh, um, the transatlantic slave trade, uh, the movement of, uh, of enslaved Africans from the African continent to the Americas and Europe. What was the, what does the water remember of that time? And also the, the animals remember um, of that time as well, um, apart from our own human memories of uh, what happened then and what happens now and in between. The water and memories and uh, roots, what memories uh, are held in, the, um, in water and rocks, in uh, the soil itself? Do the memories uh, disappear or do they get um, composted in a different way? And if they do get composted uh, in a different way, in what way do they um, subvert? Yeah.